Hello, and thank you again for watching and listening to the Word Bible Fellowship. And this is part two of preparation for the plane. Yes, we are in preparation for the valley because based on Ezekiel chapter three, the Lord God Yahweh Elohim is in the valley with us. He has set up the conditions for us to go to the valley. And the valley is the place where it is boring, it could be uh, challenging, it could be uh, nothing's there in the valley, it may seem like a hard place in the valley, but that's where the Lord God is to instruct us, to direct us, to guide us to where he wants us to be and to go and to do, to glorify, honor, and praise him. It's not about us, it's about us being obedient to the Heavenly Father, the Most High God, creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and the universe. So this is part two, and we're going to continue in our teaching. And I want to uh, share with you some notes that the Lord God gave me about Ezekiel chapter 3 in preparation for the plane. And I'm going to say here in verse uh, 16 of Ezekiel chapter 3, says that uh, now it came to pass at the end of the seven days that the word of the Lord came to me. So before uh, verses 1 through 15 in, uh, in, the, in the first part of his teaching, it came to be that Ezekiel saw this wonderful, awesome sight. I mean, these creatures, the voices, I mean, the roaring sounds. It was just awesome in the, in the truest sense of the word of the meaning of awesome. And then seven days have passed, and that's when the Lord word came to Ezekiel. This means that the Lord God has a time, a purpose of when his word will come to us, but we must be humble and obedient in order to wait upon the Lord. One of my notes for this chapter in preparation for the plane is we need to eat Yahweh's word. I don't mean physically pick up the Bible and eat it. Eating means it should we should read the word of God as nourishment for our souls, for our emotions, for our mind, our body. We should read the word of God as though we're eating a meal. I mean, most people who's hearing this message or listening has at least one meal a day. So we, as servants of the Lord God Almighty, will nourish our body, mind, soul, and spirit upon the Word of God by eating it as meditation and reading it and doing what it says. Another note is we receive instructions from the Heavenly Father Yahweh when we nourish our souls in order to preparation to get into the plane. Directions to listen with ears and receive into our mind the words of Yahweh. When we eat, quote unquote, nourish our body, mind, soul, and spirit with the word of God, he will help us and give us directions, instructions on how to listen and how to obey our mind would be clear because our mind would be focused upon the Word of God and doing His will. We would go in Yahweh's direction. The Spirit carried Ezekiel away when he was there in the presence of the Most High God, the Exalted One. Then Ezekiel heard this great roaring sound, a sound of, of roaring. And then the presence of the Lord was in his place, in the place of the presence of the Lord, the Lord God's power, his spirit, his compassion, love, mercy, and grace, everything good is in the presence of the Lord. And then sounds of the wings of the creatures of being against one another when Ezekiel was in the presence of the Lord. The sound of wheels beside them, a great roaring sound, hallelujah. Uh, when the spirit seized him, Ezekiel, it carried him away. And Ezekiel went in bitterness and fury in his spirit. That means that he was so contrite and so sorrowful 
of what he saw and it was so awesome his spirit is, is so bitterness and the hand of the Lord of God was strong upon him in the presence of the Lord when you and I or anyone who are born again believers of the most high God creator of the heavens the earth the seas the universe the Messiah Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach hand is strong upon us when we're in the presence of the Lord God Almighty and this is when we're in the valley. The valley, the place where the Lord God has placed us in order for we to not have distractions, to not have anything to, to prevent us from hearing God's word so that we can do and say and speak powerfully by the word of the Lord God Almighty and his Holy Spirit to glorify and honor and praise him. Continue in my notes, Yahweh will speak to his obedient service in the valley plain. When Ezekiel flung himself down on his face, this showed Yahweh Elohim Almighty that he's humble under the mighty hand of God, that he is a servant, a bond servant, obedient, and his attitude toward Yahweh Elohim. He is humbly, obediently to the Most High God, creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and universe. Humbling obedience to Yahweh causes the Holy Spirit of Yahweh to enter and set us on our feet. When, when Ezekiel flung himself down, well, the Holy Spirit raised him up and set him on his feet. And he, uh, he was ready to do the work of Yahweh Elohim by being directed and guided and, and with instructions to go to the ones in captivity to speak the word of the Lord God Almighty. Uh, Ezekiel was this was his commission to be a watchman on the wall for the Lord God Almighty for the house of Israel and so uh, Ezekiel was in awe of all these things uh, he saw the presence of the Lord God the heavenly host uh, also the heavenly creatures of Yahweh uh, the, <laughs> the Holy Spirit of God the uh, Yahweh's presence and his hand was upon Ezekiel it was strong upon him in the valley in the plain the place where Yahweh had told him to go and we need to do that as well be obedient to the whole Holy Spirit to the Lord God to direct and guide us Ezekiel was in awe of this sight so much so that he dwelt seven days stunned with the exile community at Tel Aviv of the Kibar Canal. So Ezekiel received a new assignment as watchman for the house of Israel. Yahweh Elohim's hand came upon Ezekiel there at Tel Aviv. New instruction. Again to arise and go to walk to the plain and the presence of Yahweh was in the valley and the plain so we see here that in to put it together in our day of time of living Yahweh and Elohim will bring us to a place we must first eat the scroll we must eat the Word of God meaning we digest it by reading doing saying thinking it we try our best to meditate on it daily read it daily and, and apply it to our life daily and then the Lord God will be with us his hand will be upon us bringing us to presence in the valley where he is so he can give us more instructions and directions and, and guidance and so that we can live a life pleasing to him. So we see here by God's word, the Holy Bible, that the Lord Yahweh and Elohim will guide and direct, protect, provide and lead his humble obedience Born again by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, servants who truly love him, want to obey him, and want to serve him and seek him diligently with their whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. And also we will love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So the word of God is there for us so that we can be there for others. So God bless you, protect you, God direct and lead you. May the Yahweh and Elohim purposely lead you into his valley plain where you can be used for his glory, honor, and praise. Blessings.